So for context, just just to show what the fuck we're in. Yeah, don't be too fast. We in 24 frames, baby. Mm -hmm. That documentary movie type frame rate. But listen, my boy Gianni behind the camera. You got Jeremiah, myself, and my boy Acid. We're in a very crappy situation. Well, not a very crappy, but we're not. We're not. Bro, this, this Airbnb is lifeless. It's soulless. I feel like I'm back in Baltimore. Uh, we're, like, trying to, like, get a better spot. Yo, that fucking mini fridge, it keeps making me think somebody's vacuuming, but they're not. But, yeah, we just need a better place to be at because this 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 is not good. And, like, we have two more people coming in. Maybe three, actually. Uh... Thursday and Saturday, and we can't have them be in here, bro. Like, we're not doing this for the sake of ourselves. We're, well, not only for the sake of ourselves, but we're doing this. We're, we're doing this for for every for everyone. Mine is Gianni. I'm only seeing him today on Tuesday because it's a free day. He got to work mm -hmm. and shit. But like, we just can't be here. Like, this is this is not a healthy like. Nah, bro. This is trash. We got random other random dudes like next door and shit. Like, it's. It's trash. There's literally toilet paper. Yo, stand up, bro. There's literally like... There's literally... There's legitimately toilet paper under that fucking... Look at that shit. What the... F like, what the fuck, dude? Like, yo, if you're gonna fucking have us have people stay at a, at a, at a complex of the sanity of any, of any kind, you want to make sure it's at least a stable... Con not stable, but in like some type of decent sanitary condition like bro i don't even trust looking i don't even feel right just looking inside of that fucking quote-unquote closet like <sighs> this shit trash and we not gonna be here for long hopefully if my boy einstein over here does his math right yeah bro not like i'm looking right so they got like taxes and shit so it's gonna be like 388 yeah. 388 and you get I, I get paid 350. Yeah, 350. How much you have in total? Like 400? Uh huh. Because of Vincent. Oh, oh yeah. So I'll have 450 to be exact. That's fucking doable. Yeah. For, for, for you to lift here yeah. and there. As long as you don't spend like a dumbass, I think you'll be fine. This. It's trash. We don't want to do this, but we need a better environment. We just we don't we don't want to be here. We don't want to be here. Uh, it is day negative zero, and then Wednesday will be day zero, and then Thursday will be day one, Friday will be day two, Saturday will be day three, then Sunday will be day four. Five will sort of be Monday. That's when I leave in the morning at 10 a.m. Acid leaves in the morning. I don't know what time, but. Uh, yeah. What an interesting way to start off the Boston experience, guys, for my last packs. It's all good, though, because I'm with my niggas. I'm with Acid and give him the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with Acid here holding the camera, and I'm with my boy G-Man Rocks, mm -hmm. the guy. Gianni. Yeah, bro. G-Man, the one and only. Yeah, bro. Also, yo, this is random, but get a zoom in on this joint. Shout out to my oh. boy Marty for this. No, like get closer. Oh yeah. Shout yeah, out to my ass. boy Marty for this Hilda uh, charm. I bought this from him a while back. I'm still waiting on that Lynn one to drop. I know you said, I know you responded to me on Twitter regarding it, but yeah, bro, I best believe I'm gonna cop that joint when it's out. Here's the four day ba uh, badge for packs. So, yeah, it's gonna be lit, hopefully. And, um, yeah, yo. Last time on Trapped in the Trap House, Acid Monkey Cart had a mental breakdown. <laughs> but they were finally able to talk to some officials at Airbnb.com and was able to fix some things. So right now it's in a working project. Meanwhile, work in progress, dumbass. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> don't, 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 don't sass me, boy. Anyway, Jeremiah Isaiah 
is playing some bloody roar, as you can see. If it freaking focuses, there we go. Alright, we out here. We out here. Bloody roar gang. Everything will be fixed and ready for tomorrow's production. We won't be in this place here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, nigga. Shit. Hey, got that beast drive. We will be. It's focusing, Ooh. right? Yeah. Cool. Bloody Roar Gang. Bloody Roar Gang. Okay, there we go. Alright, so. We got sent to a different room, which isn't actually our room, that doesn't have a fridge, and it doesn't have a fire extinguisher. It's still missing essential, essentially, and Hugo is a goddamn scammer, and uh, we're going to be leaving very soon. Acid over here chilling. He watching The Flash. He watching The Flash, right? Yeah. Yeah, he watching The Flash or whatever, but um, we're not going to be here for long, and this is going to be the last clip in this fucking video because this place sucks and uh yeah i have to load money on a card and he got his check so we're like not in a really shitty situation anymore and um yeah so we'll see you at the uh the hotel assuming all that works out anyway oh <laughs> uh. Hello. Welcome. We are in the new crib. Acid's coat's here. He the cameraman, of course. Got a mirror here. Got our lockers. And we got bunk beds. One, two, three to the foe. Jerry Acid at the door. I couldn't rhyme. But anyways, got a mirror right there too. Um, so, as it stands, uh, me, Acid and our friend Silod underscore three, the one I did the Resident Evil video with. Um, all three of us prominently have ownership to this room, but uh, our friend Ivan H915, unfortunately, uh, since like somebody else took the one of the bunks, uh, he couldn't have that spot. But tomorrow morning we'll see if we can you know reserve a spot for him if, they, if anything changes, or we can at least give him get him a spot within this uh, hotel or something like that. So. Yeah, I got money, more money loaded onto my card, thankfully, thanks to Acid Monkey God himself. The one and only. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's about it. Um, this was day two of Boston. It's not over, of course. It's still early in the morning, actually. It's like, what, almost 10, 10 o'clock. And uh, we just, um, yeah, we, we just got done having Wendy's and everything like that. So, yeah, we're just chilling. We're in a much better, peaceful environment. Uh, the city's pretty busy. There's people riding bikes. There's there's a uh, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, I mentioned CVS, and there's a uh, Wendy's there and stuff. And um, it's just better from the fucking dreadful, shitty, fucking. It, it was just ass. Fuck that place we were at, the Trap B and B. We didn't even contact the guy that that owned that that uh complex. We just fucking left. And the nigga said he had hidden cameras. So uh, we don't need to tell you that we left. <laughs> But yeah, that's gonna be it for day two, at least this clip or whatever. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this experiment. Experiment? What the fuck? Experience. And yeah, so. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, man. How you been? How you still got this hat, dude? Thank you so much for the Jesus opportunity. Christ. I appreciate right, yeah, you yeah, too It's much, all good. Man. It's all good, man. Doing? I'm doing all right, yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah, good to see you again, too, yeah, man. I, I've been chilling, man. Yeah. I'm going to be going back to PAX as uh, freaking Spider-Man, and I'm, uh, I'm going to come as a surprise. We haven't, we haven't gone yet. Have you gone to the Center today? Uh, uh, no, not yet. We're waiting for one more friend. Yeah. We're waiting for him and Vincent. Vincent's on the plane from Canada. Yeah, tomorrow and Saturday, I'm going to come at something crazy, man. It's going to be crazy, man. I am working on it. But I'll see you at the corner, right? All right, y'all. All right, man. Yeah, we're going. We probably just can't stay here. All right. All right. All right, well, this is David.
Yeah, this is me. Yeah, man. The What's Fenrir? good? The, the king. The king, Fenrir. Fenrir. Okay, I didn't want to put Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not a boy. I'm talking to Jeremiah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No. Don't rush me now. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. We're going to head in now. We got our boy here, so we'll just wait for Vincent to come next. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're checking out this thing. Playing some cloud punk. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's yeah. A, it's like a racing tournament thing or whatever, but, but yeah, I, I was planning on going on as uh, Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie, but uh, I had I had problem making him the, uh, I got some EVA for him to make the uh, the head and everything, but uh, of course I didn't have the time to finish this thing, and also I uh, had to get a jacket, but uh, didn't come in yet, but I don't know, next year I'll be Ed. Yo, yo, are you still coming at, like, you're coming tomorrow? Uh, no, I, I'm only going for one day, I uh, work still. Damn, I man. All right, well, see, tomorrow I was going to come in at the door to do something. It's going to be crazy, yeah, yeah. man. Good to see you, man. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. 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 We're on the hunt for Vincent. Cylon underscore three. The, the fucking Resident Evil geek. There he is. Right there. What a charge. Yeah, finally. Finally. I thought you were over there. Sorry, sorry. Look at this big ass trench coat, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, hold it. Hold it. Hey, it was good. Yo, this my boy. I'm doing great. How are you? Finally, good to see you guys. These niggas only, flexing with their coats, dude. The only thing I'm missing is a top hat and, uh, you know, Mr. X. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, man, <laughs> yeah, yo. Yeah, bro. Um, so you're the first one of our group that we found, and yeah. now we need to find Anthony. Anthony? Yeah, Vitmus25. I don't know where he is. Yeah, I know that name. Yeah. We found Vincent. That's me. We found the guard. We found the Resident Evil nerd. Oh, yeah, Ash is with us, too. Nerd. Yeah, Ash is still with us too. <laughs> gang, gang. Now we gotta find Anthony. If not, we'll link up with some other folk. I don't know. You made it to fat teeth. Oh my god. Is it because of them? Oh, I remember you. Yeah. Oh, hi. Thank you all for bringing my king here. Hey, brother. Yes. You're a god. So, I was going to be so sad if you didn't make it. Oh my god, you're like the fifth person I found. Okay, I'm not, I'm not spoiling anything, but something is happening tomorrow, and the same thing will happen Saturday. So I'm actually about to play Shantae, uh, Shantae 5, you can show it off. Uh, I, did, I had no idea that it was going to, I had no idea it was going to be here, so I'm going to give it a shot and see what I think.
the uh, rock this. Got oh. that shot tape in, let it focus. I think it's focused. All right. Yeah, I actually got another one on my backpack. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I noticed. Yeah. Wait, let, let me see that. There it is. Yeah, so I might just uh, put this on my uh, my shirt. But Your yeah, shirt? that's a great game. It, it actually, it remind, it's reminding me of like a mixture of, uh, is the camera too close, by the way? Uh, hold on, let me back up. Um, All right, I think we're good now. Yeah. It, uh, it reminds me of Shantae, uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which is three. And uh -huh. it reminds me a bit of Half Genie Hero, which was the latest release prior to this one. So. Nice, nice. It's a great game. I'm definitely going to give it a... Uh, That's on PS4 as well? It's going to be on PS4, Steam, uh, the Switch, and, uh, the Apple Arcade, and um, I think the Xbox One. Nice. So, yeah, it's going to be available on all platforms. But yeah, great game. Uh, I'm definitely going to copy day one, most likely, probably. If, I don't, if I'm not wrong. Yo, I want y'all to take a guess at how much this shit costs. Okay, y'all had enough time. Look at this shit. Wait, 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 let it focus. Let it focus? Yep. It 89 90 fucking 9 Bruh. And it's the PS2 version. Wait, how many versions are there? There's a it's, there's one on Dreamcast. Uh-huh. There's one on GameCube. Yep. And it's this version. I see. I think it's on Xbox, but what the fuck? I don't know, man. We got some outrageous prices. What was the other game? There was another game that cost hella shit. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Infinite World. Oh, wait. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 4, essentially, costs almost $60. That's enough for a fucking PS4 game. How old is this game again? This game is 12 years old. 12 years old? 2008. Holy shit. Yeah, bro, that's, that's, that's... Damn, boy. Shit is ridiculous, man. Itself. Like once we got in there, it was like totally yeah. Oh, y'all got baited? <laughs> yeah, bro. And the refrigerator, bro, was like all moldy. I've been there. I was like, yo, Where'd he go? we just gotta get a hotel. Oh, yeah. Shit, bro. Yeah, there, I, there he is. No, that shit is trash. <laughs> man. So, like, my freaking check came in and we got a hotel. Bro. Hey, I'm, I'm glad y'all got a place. I saw his tweets. I'm glad you got a place. Man. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. You got a crack. Yeah, yes sir. Tomorrow we're about to be crazy. I'm not spoiling nothing. Why? We're going to do some crazy shit tomorrow. Nigga, what are you going to do? I'm tired of this shit. Twitter ain't ready, bro. Tomorrow ain't ready, bro. What the fuck are you doing, man? We're going to find out tomorrow. We can't spoil it. This is a movie, bro. What's going on, man? I have no idea. We can't. We can't say much. I'm not going to lie. Now that I'm seeing Pokemon Sword Slash Shield in person, it's pretty intriguing like it makes me want to get the game even more but yeah my boy Vince is playing the game now so yeah that's fine also <laughs> this freaking guy is actually my cousin I was on the escalator and he was pointing at me to come down and I'm like what the heck so then I ran down here and then he explained everything so that was definitely a highlight thank you for like doing that that was awesome yeah now I know you beyond just liking my stuff on right. programs, <laughs> on applications and shit. Hey, hey. My boy Carl, look who's over there. That boy Canadian guy, hey. The Canadian himself, young bacon, bacon strip. I said, almost said bacon strip. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna come out, we gonna be talking and shit. He DM'd my boy asking in return, and now we're about to meet up with him. Uh, we'll probably hang out with him tomorrow, because he's not here with his wife or his child either. And I'm basically going to try to give him a rundown of who I am and shit like that. I mean, I kind of did, but he only knew me from like one video. How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> hey, guy. Hey, dude. This is my friend Vincent. He's Hello. Like, he's, uh, he's from Canada. This is my first time meeting Hello. him in person. Vincent. You? And the craziest thing just happened. What? Upstairs in the Pokemon booth thing. Yeah? My cousin. Literally, like somebody I didn't know was my cousin was like telling me to come here as I was on the escalator, uh, and then he told me he was related to my father, and we're related. So one of my, <laughs> so one of my cousins works at Max. Yeah, that's crazy. That's new. Yeah. <laughs> the fight up like that. But how's your experience been so far? So far been good. Been a little bit tired. <laughs> like a seven and a half hour drive. Yeah, yeah that so. sucks. Man. 
yeah, so, but uh, we, I went to the CTR tournament. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. tried to find you, but like, yeah, we figured you like doped right afterwards because we came in like around one, close yeah. to one. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I finished up the tournament, went for lunch. Uh, place first overall. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I knew you. I knew you were place first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, well, okay. It, it was a little bit like disheartening when I sat down and the one person was having trouble like knowing how to accelerate. They thought it was the R2 buttons. Um, I was just like, oh no. Now they probably played it with like the change controls. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I, I was just like, I came over with like, that's the goal. Yeah. yeah. What other games did you get to play? Uh, I tried, uh, so obviously the CTR tournament, I tried uh, Sacrifice Your Friends. Okay. Yeah, imagine Smash Brothers and Overcooked. Okay. It works. <laughs> That's crazy. What the hell? It works. Yeah. Uh, then we tried, uh, I got it for Media Hour, so I hit Final Fantasy VII. Alright. Yeah, that was cool. Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh my god. I'm yeah. Oh my god. I they haven't been to actually play it. Yeah, I, I, I gotta play it too, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it's actually, it, it definitely feels pre-alpha. I'm excited. But it definitely feels alpha. It's like okay. Actually, I've never played the original. Yeah, I, I have. I have played the original. I'm playing it right now. I'm streaming it, and the area that I was playing, I, I, luckily I was able to stream. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, okay, it definitely needs work. I also tried a little bit of destroy all humans. That felt better. That felt that felt better. Uh, they recycled the PS2 audio so far. So hopefully by the end. And then my phone's been lambasted with this new rumor for Crash. So. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Hold on, repeat that. New rumor, so uh, there was, it, it's confusing right now. It went from rumor to debunked to everyone is confused. So there was, Vicarious Visions posted a picture of a billboard of them saying, hey, look at all these games that we're supporting, and there's a logo of a new Crash Band. It's, it's new. I've never, I've, I've never seen this. Yeah, okay. Has said this okay, but this is where things get weird. It's fan art. The logo is fan art, but Vicarious yeah, Visions posted it. Oh, no. So that's why everyone's just like, everyone's just confused. Everyone's like, that's why I'm sitting there, I'm like, do I debunk? Is this debunk? Is this not debunk? Because I was looking at it, I was like, okay, this is the Vicarious Visions studio. I'm tweeting this. It's there. I'll even show it to you. Here. Also, my friend, Carl. Yep. You can say hi to him. Hi. Hi, Carl. So, here. Someone DM this to me. So, here. So, they, so Vicarious Visions, that is the official 14,000. 14.2 thousand. Yeah. Right. The game on billboard is up on Route 78 on Albany, New York, promoting yeah. our regimes, right? Right. So then they have all this stuff, and look, look at that logo for Crash. What the fuck? That's that's not. That's not official. Well, that this is an official billboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the but, logo but you can see the logo, and you're like, that kind of looks new. That doesn't look right, like the yeah. old. That's not. Yeah. But then you go here. All right. You go to. DeviantArt. What the fuck? And it's the same logo posted by someone back in 2008 or 2018. What? See, posted on October 30, 2018. Dude, that had to have been a billboard someone from VV had to have like hired to make and like they didn't realize that was bad. That's my only like theory. Well, there's also the other theory that I have is that uh, remember when. Did I recognize it? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you know that Oh my god, this pack has been amazing. That's gonna be a surprise. I can't tell you what it is. Damn it. Okay, I'll just see it. Alright, alright. I'd probably wipe her up if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think, I, think, I think she's single too, but yo, listen, I have so much to tell you, okay? I know you've seen my CTR reaction and whatnot yep. and shit like that, but I'm not 100% certain if you're familiar with it. The name Jeremiah Isaiah Sorry. because before, I am, wait what? I am, I've seen the channel. I've seen your stuff. Dude, let me just tell you right now. I understand. I respect you for what you do because the craft fandom. It's first of all, I don't consider it a community because you like to divide it because of the games. Like there's different opinions on it. Yeah. Yeah. But, I don't know how you can do it. <laughs> I, mo I moved on. I'm more of like, I still talk about Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you talked about the when the mobile game came out and you gave your thoughts about it. Yep. <laughs> I watched it. I watched it. I moved on more to like Bloody Roar. Yep. I know uh, you've been behind that Bloody Roar and I hope it comes back for your sake. I do. I do because your channel will blow up if you continue focusing on Bloody Roar and it does come back, your channel will take off. Like even higher than before. I mean, that's what happened with my channel with Spyro. Yeah. I focus on Spyro, 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 get back, <laughs> took off, right? What inspired you to like create content for like those particular series? It was what I, going back to what I love. That was it. It was simply, 
I was trying to stream and play stuff that I thought was popular at one point. I was trying, and I wasn't really digging it. I wasn't really liking it. And uh, at one point before, I was actually a League of Legends channel. Years uh, ago. I went back to your channel. Yeah, I we saw were all like that too. Back years ago, right? Yeah. And I was like, man, and I, I was... What was up? Back up a little. Back up? Because the lens isn't like too... Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was something that I was okay with, but I wasn't really jiving with. And so eventually I burnt out of that, didn't really want to do it anymore. And then what I what happened was, was that I got laid off from my regular job, which was an animation editor. I got, I got laid off and I had some free time. So I was like, okay, I'll start a YouTube channel. And I was like, what do I want to talk about? So my very first thing was, at the time, the Insane Trilogy had just come out. I was like, okay, I'll do a review on the Insane Trilogy. Got like 100 views. You know, whatever. Yeah. And uh, the next day I thought, I would love to do Spyro. Let's talk about Spyro. And I was like, I love, love, love Spyro. And I remember I went to bed, it had 12 views, and I woke up and it had 123 views. Bro, I know that feeling. And I, and I looked at that and I was just like, there's something there. Yeah. And by the end of the week, I had 1,000 views. And that was the first time I hit a thousand views on a video in a long time. I was like, I really, I had a lot of passion behind Spyro, and it was, it felt awesome to like revisit. I was like, okay, I got to record footage for Spyro. And I booted up and I was playing. I was like, it's just like it all came back. I was like, this is amazing. I love this. And then when it started to take off, I was like, okay, let's do it. Not only is it something that I enjoy, it's something that's why I keep talking about it. Like some people are saying, oh, you keep talking about how you keep talking about because I love it. It's called passion. Yeah. I made sure I played every single mainline Crash Bandicoot game. I was like, okay, I gotta make sure I'm knowledgeable on all of it because I, it was just something. To be honest, my fa my family and I we grew up we didn't have a whole lot of money. We didn't, and so people are like, oh, you never played Twin Sanity? It's like, no, because I couldn't afford it. I like people are like, oh, you're not a real fan. I'm like, no, that's it's, I was broke. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> that's I didn't know how to feel. Like, like, you used to like call me like a true fan. I never, I was never a fan of that movie. mentality. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, because it was just like, yeah, it was like, oh, why didn't you play that? Because I was broke. My first console that was mine was the PS3. That was mine. Oh, behind you. Yeah, right? I, never, oh, I never played, like, the first two games until, like, a couple years ago. And that's fine. That still makes you a valid Crash fan as much as him or me. It doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as there's common interest, I don't think there should be a problem. Yeah, no, there shouldn't be an issue. And, like, and I sat down and I played through Mine Over Newton, and I played Crash of the Titans, and I played Wrath of Cortex, and I played Twin Sanity. And I have positives and negatives on all of them, but I now have a, a different opinion on them. And there are a lot of different takes, and there's a lot of things, but what I don't like is the take of saying, this is garbage, if you think it's good, you're garbage. Don't, I don't like that take, I don't like it, I don't like the... I just hope you don't have any pages trying to campaign you to get shut the fuck down. That's happening. Oh yeah, yeah it's, I mean, I've been threatened, my family's been threatened. I've been all this, uh, the Xfinity code situation. Yeah, was, bro, I, I was like seeing that on like Twitter, man. And then I was like, Oh, isn't that for wait, the new cars or yeah. something? Oh uh, yeah, it's like uh, Xfinity car or something like that. Yeah, but like, I've been like seeing it like all over like your Twitter yeah, and stuff. And I, and I was just like, damn, that freaking sucks. So, I was like, trying my best to help people. That's all I was trying to do. And, and people were just like, you give them an inch, they take a mile, right? It was basically what was happening was is that the Xfinity code came and to get this exclusive part for CTR. It's a Formula One car, it looks really pretty. The key thing is that only Xfinity internet customers can gain access to this car. <laughs> I have Xfinity! Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you want, you can have it. But here's the thing, is that you can recycle it once and give it to someone who doesn't have Xfinity and they can get the car. Well, what happened is that people started to do this thing. Start off friendly as, hey, I have a code. Here, I'll give it to a friend. I'll give it to a friend. Hey, I don't have any friends in play CTR, I'll just throw it online. Well, what started to happen was I had a friend joining to me a code. And then I had another friend donate to me a code. I had a bunch of people donating me codes. I thought, okay, I'm going to do giveaways. Just say, hey, here you go. Just look. And so I was like, say, here you go, here you go, giving codes away. I throw a code, code in a video saying, hey, go through the video, go find it, you get the card. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just having fun with it. And I was getting about 30 DMs an hour begging for a card. Code. And they were thinking that Activision was just feeding me card codes. And I said, no, 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 no. That's not what's happening. People are donating to them. Away. And I tried explaining that over and over. It just wasn't registering. And it got people to bribing me to buy code, got people begging me, saying that they need it for the kid's birthday, saying that they're going to uh, wow. unsubscribe if they don't get a card. And I'm just like, 
And I'm just like, so I was like, look, it's, that's not fair if I give it to one person and not to another. So I just started doing, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna throw up as a Twitter just tweet. Here you go. Here's a code. Credit to this person. Good luck to you. That was it. Just started doing that. And eventually, it got to the point where I said, okay, last code up. DMs closed. I'm done. That's it. Because it's it's a crappy promotion, but I tried helping. And it just anyway. Yeah, I thought you wouldn't like read my DM because of like that. And I was like, I was today like, was oh. busy. Today was busy. That's all. Yeah, I, I, was, I was just like, oh, uh, no, I, I, I have my DMs. I have my uh, DMs open for people I follow. Mm -hmm. Just I had people DMing me who weren't following me, and it was just okay. okay. It was a crap storm. But we, yeah. it is what it is. But what can you do? It's patience. That's it. It's just patience. Understanding, like, okay. They're gonna have an opinion on something. They're gonna hate you for it. They'll, that, they'll die down. Yeah, they'll die down. Like wait it out. Are, wait it out. Let it go. Let it go over. Don't take it personally either, because that's a big thing. Like, if you were to meet that person in person, because I've had that before, where someone was hating on me, hating on me. I met them in person, and they were nice, and they suddenly were like, "Hey, maybe you know, I'm not so much of a bad guy, right?" And so it's patience with that. It's that's it. It's honestly just being patient with people. I have two questions. Sure. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't consider myself a part or like, kind of, yeah, a part or like with my back uh, crash bandicoot fans. Mm -hmm. And knowing what I've been through and what you're, you know, what you're currently going through with crash fans and shit, do you consider yourself a part of that fan base? Absolutely. I do. I feel like being a part of it, you can be a part of it in multiple different ways. You can be. You can be directly involved. You can be on Reddit every day. You can be posting fan art. I believe that there's different subsections of every fan base. Every single fan base. There's different subsections and there are overly positive. Like, have you ever seen some of the crash artists? They're amazing people. They're beautiful people. There's, you got Madaska, you've got all these people doing all these beautiful pieces of art for CTR and they're all overwhelmingly positive. Yeah. Right? That's and you know what? You could be a part of the crash fan base art wise. You could be part of the crash fan base through theory. You could be part of, and it doesn't matter which subsection you're a part of, you're a part of this crash fan base because you're a fan of crash and you enjoy it with others. So yes, I do. I do. Even if it's just through information, through art, through whatever it is, I do believe that I am a part of the crash fan base. I would say that yes. I kinda of open my eyes a little bit. Yeah. I've been through. I've been through too much. Of oh yeah. Oh yeah. Second question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 I got a third one, but like this is this is. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna be here all four days. Yes. Okay. Now the the, ba the main big question. Okay. This is for y'all. So back up a little. Okay. <laughs> I need to know uh -huh. if there's a possibility that you can work with the original Crash Car. <laughs> <laughs> one day. Maybe one day, yes. Maybe All right. one day. All right. Do you, don't, do you mind like keeping in touch or something on Twitter? Yeah. Sure, sure. I follow me on Twitter and we can keep in touch in DMs, no problem. All right. No, I know you've been around. You've been doing uh, the Crash game for a long time. I know you have. So. I'm not gonna lie. I do miss doing Crash content consistently, mm -hmm. but it's it feels like a goddamn drought. It, and I don't want to give out disingenuous content. So yeah, I respect you for doing what you do for the littlest shit that we get when it comes to CTR. Yeah. But I am interested since the Grand Prix is over. Like, yeah. I am interested to see like what they do with it next. With, with the characters and shit. Like I might do a characters like one in the game. Too. Yeah. It's small, but it would be big for others. Because yeah. they, they, even though I stopped doing Crash content for like months, when I came back and did one, it was like over like 2.3k there. So my core fan base is still there. They're still there. Thank They're you. still there. Yeah. There's still room for you. Okay. Oh my god. All right. All right. So yeah, the wind was beating our ass hard. We managed to find a lift while my phone was dying from like 10% to like, no, 17% to like 2. And when we were running to the lift, we basically got our asses washed from the wind. But then we went to the convenience store and got some stuff after we got dropped off near the hotel, at, or at the hotel, since it's literally like not even a minute away. Right. So yeah, day one was awesome, and uh, day two is going to be better, hopefully, if not just as good. And... Um, yeah, I think this is where it's gonna end because we need to just relax. Like, our hands are cold, asses, ears are fucked. 
I don't know what's up with Vince. This nigga like some type of superhuman mutant. <laughs> nah, I'm not a superhuman. I don't know what's up with him. But I mean, I'm here, so yeah. When I gotta, <laughs> when I gotta endure, I gotta endure. Yeah, bro. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, today was great. <gasps> so yeah, see ya. Oh, right. Tomorrow's gonna be interesting, so stay tuned for that. They keep saying that, and I'm really scared. Yeah, be scared, bro. Be scared. <laughs>
keeps my spirits up. I also panicked earlier thinking I lost my phone, but I didn't. I just had it in my friend's book bag. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh, I don't know where day two, Friday of PAX East 2020 will go in terms of this video, but uh, hopefully it's good or hopefully, you know, it just ends on a good note. The day has been great though. But not number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven to number forty five, water with cheese, and a large soda. Damn. My God. <laughs> Claps for the snake. I just, I can just see it. Like, he got the back. I was like, he knows. He has to know. I feel like, I feel like everybody will bother you for this. Like, do you know? I know. He studied. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. It's fucking dope as shit. This is like a powerhouse. Uh, well, see, I didn't ask you what I've seen so far. Well, there's also static shots. We gotta get both. That, that's awesome. We're gonna get one more. Thank you, guys. Oh, what was it? Yeah, you know, do one more. Do one more. <laughs> fucking awesome. Thanks, guys. Oh. Oh, no, 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 he's just from oh. Alright, thank you so much, Max. We're tired as fuck. We're all fucking tired. Yeah, and the quote-unquote superhuman is... Well, kind of scratched myself in my arms and my legs, but that made me feel better. Not like an, an accident, just like, you know, with my nails. Anyways, we're gonna go to fuck the sleep. We're gonna try to fucking meet up with the... What the fuck are you doing, nigga? <laughs> He's a Canadian guy, eh? We're gonna try to meet up with the voice actors of Final Fantasy VII Remake that comes out a day before my birthday. And uh, some other shit. I don't know, yo. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm you just... wanna try Battle for Bikini Bottom? I might try Battle for Bikini Bottom out. I played the Final Fantasy VII demo, or I played Shantae V, so I don't really fucking care about any other games for real. I just want anime titties, bro. This nigga just wants some anime titties. <laughs> fucking horny ass nigga. Anyways, bro. <laughs> so look. Tomorrow, me and my boy, we're still gonna be these same characters. We got so much attention. Y'all have no idea. We got so much fucking attention. It was actually ridiculous. But it was fun. It was great. Like, I had a panic attack because, like, I I was I thought I lost my phone, but I had it in Vince's bag because I didn't take my bag because I didn't want to rock, rock it with this long-ass fucking jacket slash coat that Static Shock has. Also, this isn't a fucking mop on my head. This is an actual fucking wig. It just has a lot of dreads and there's a fucking, like, Rasta hat thing under it. But, like, you know, it's supposed to act as if, like, you know, his hair is coming out of the the, the headband fucking Rasta shit thingamajig. But yeah, I'm in this shit. It's been too long. Uh, say goodnight. Goodnight. Say goodnight. Goodnight, everybody. I will see y'all in the next part, day three, right? Yeah, day mm -hmm. three. Day three. Of PAX East 2020. Goodbye. I'm being a meat. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. You fucking dumbass. Better. So basically, we were outside from like 6.30 to 7.30, and now we're in, and we're about a quarter closer than where we were before, waiting in the expo line before the expo hall opens. I just had me two Pop-Tarts because a nigga was starving. Uh, this guy pointed at him. Yeah, he gave me some hand warmers so my fingers didn't fucking get frostbitten and shit. Yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah. Thank him and his group. Um, yeah. Final Fantasy VII. That's gonna be our priority for today for the most part. Hell yeah. Oh, you brought your poster. Yeah, I brought my poster. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I want to try meeting up. Unfortunately, Cloud's not here for some reason, but uh, Aaron, Barrett, Barrett, no, no, and Tifa, Tifa, Tifa are here. So you're gonna get something like uh, every actor to sign on top of their characters or something? No, I think I'll just take a card from from, from all five. Uh, 
uh, okay. maybe get a video or something. I also might have a, but I'm, I'm actually saving a granola bar for Tifa. I think she'll find that. I think she'll find that nice. Oh, that's nice. Because you know, I don't know. We don't know. We don't, we don't know how like strict or quick, uh, quick they gotta get ready for this type of shit. So you know. Oh yeah. Just, you know, just being human is all. Uh, here it is. Right here. But yeah, for now, I don't know if Tifa's allergic to chocolate. That's the thing. But um. I also have my PSP, so I'm gonna play me some Crash, some Bloody Roar, some uh, fucking. Oh, I brought my deodorant with me. I'm chilling. You had that the whole time? Yeah, I had it the whole time. I didn't even use it. But I didn't stink that good. Yeah, they got deodorant. I, I think we have to see it. Oh, nice. Yeah, my PSP is somewhere in here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna just chill and play with that for the time being. Alright. Uh, Wait, you have yeah, here it is. Yeah, so that good old PlayStation Portable. Yeah, so I'm gonna chill on this for a while until we're ready to move, and then you'll get an update, maybe via my phone when I edit this, or on this camera. From you know, assuming the Final Fantasy VII thing works out. Can I please get a picture? and gentlemen we have the voice actor signing session thingamajig but we gotta wait till 2 30. hold my camera brother-in-law bro law brother from another mother hey so yeah we got the ticket thingamajig so soon i'm gonna be able to talk to mrs lockhart herself i got a granola bar saved just for her right here and um yeah hopefully it's fun this stuff as you guys just saw, I met a freaking I met Darkstalkers cosplayers here. That that made this Saturday like so crazy, so good for me. And I can't even imagine what the hell this is gonna be like. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. And now my friend Kalia is showing up. Kalia, hi. Oh shit, <laughs> I slipped on my damn cape. <laughs> I met some Dark Soccer's cosplayers downstairs, and I got that voice actor signing thing with the jig. That shit's gonna be fucking lit. It's filming, bro. Yo. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Yo, I need to show y'all this shit right now. Yo, y'all just saw in the last clip I recorded, right? How I was gonna be meeting Tifa soon. Yo. Put the shit. Put the put the fucking camera on the phone, bro. I tweeted at her when me and my boys were in the line about how like you know I'm static shocked and stuff like that, and I saved her a granola bar. <laughs> she actually saw it, saying, "I'll see you soon." Oh man, a granola bar, bro! I'm hyped this shit right now, bro. Oh my Take this shit no more, bro. This is too crazy for me. Oh. Yo, this might just be the best pack I have had since 2016, bro. No, no, since 2014, bro. Oh my god, dude. That's it. I think our outfits getting delayed and you giving me static shock was a blessing in disguise, bro. I swear to God, bro. Oh. I'm sweating like a bitch right now. Oh my god, I need to contain myself. Okay, you can stop now, bro. <laughs> I had a crooked cop assume I was assaulting people because I was in a rush to get back to my friend Kalaya here. And when I landed on the ground, he told me to act my age and told me I was on camera like I'm supposed to be scared or something. So we just left the spot and uh, 
Yeah, packs need to fix their shit because security here is fucking questioning. Why are there enforcers and dumbass cops here? I don't get it. I don't know. That shit, that shit just didn't make sense. That was retarded. But yeah, at the, at the moment, I'm currently waiting for my friend Ivan because he's here. Sees me somehow. Where are you? Oh, sure. I see a stereo. Ivan! Big fan, bro. I'm a big fan, bro. Big fan, bro. I'm about to get a picture, actually. Yeah, my friend's recording, so say hi to the camera. What's good, yo? Uh, subscribe to Ivan H915. Stop plugging! Oh, well, it's already too late now. Link up with acid now. <laughs> that was interesting. Definitely keep in touch. Awesome, thank you. Oh, dude, you're so fucked, man. Yo, put a shock to your system. Put a shock to your system, yo, Dylan. What the fuck is up, man? 
You're so big! Holy shit. Why are you so big, dude? Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> no reason. What's going on? Are you his, you his girlfriend? Huh? We, I was, uh, we might, you mean me and I surprised, we might leave soon, so you want to take a picture right now? Sure, man. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we have my phone, please? Yeah. Someone, please? Yeah. Oh, there's my cousin that works at the Pokemon thing. Oh, shit. Good to see you again, man. Thank you. All right. I'll see you, man, all right? Yeah. Don't run, Astrid. <laughs> that comeback, bro. I already told you I was going to lose. I already said it. Bro, you had two slots and you were playing as Diddy Kong. Isn't Diddy Kong one of your mains? No! Diddy oh, Kong's Diddy not my Kong. main. Yeah. My like main a secondary. Are Rob, freaking um, Game & Watch, and Banjo. How is the monkey character not your main? I'm so confused. Like, I used to play Diddy, like, a lot in, like, Brawl, and, like, a little bit in Smash 4, but, like, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so day three, almost at two or four, uh, has been great. You know, I still got this granola bar I need to give to uh, Brit. Uh, Brit, I forgot our last name already, bro. God damn it! Give me one second. I am so uncultured. Brit Barry, the voice actress for Tifa Lockhart, who gave me this signed, this beautifully signed uh, poster. I gave her, I was gonna give her a granola bar, but like, uh, there's something on the back here that's kind of like important. And like, you know, I basically didn't want security to beat the shit out of me. And I was really nervous meeting like voice actors in person and talking to actors and actresses in person and talking. And you know, it was cool, it was great, it was fun. She was happy to see me in person because I tweeted at her and she responded and blah, blah, blah. But um, fast forward, you know. Got lots of pics, people love my cosplay and stuff, acid, he's out of his closet right now. Uh, we're kind of like in a very weird uh, predicament uh, quandary right now because uh, we want to go to this event, this smash event called Show Me Your Moves, uh, hosted by Dubs or Dobbs, whatever his name is. And, but we also want to go out and see the movie, like My Hero Academia movie or something. So we're, we're just chilling here for a bit and we don't know what to do. but. I think this is this is where Saturday will end, uh, but Sunday will continue. So I'm not gonna film anything else from here on out, unless I find another fine ass cosplayer or something. But yeah, that's it for Saturday. Yeah, we vibing oh. acid. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. You didn't even like tell me. So update, we're at the AMC Theater. We're gonna try to see the My Hero movie. Currently in the process of getting tickets. And uh, yeah, after this, uh, I think we're just gonna go home. So this is where the vlog's gonna end and we're gonna enjoy the movie hopefully. So yeah, peace. I think it's time to blow this thing. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's go.
Maya is hugging me to death right now. At least I didn't suffocate you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just filming. This is my friend. <laughs> we just met Tifa Lockhart's voice actress and Barrett. So watch out, watch out. Something behind you, something behind you. Watch out. Okay. But yeah, we also met uh, Barrett's voice actor. And he was really happy to see us uh, today. Again, since yesterday we were in cosplay. But one of the other important things I want to showcase was that this spot, this spot, around here, this was where me and Etika met. This is where me and him took the picture. That's where, that's the corner that me and my other friends were chilling at. And he was coming down from this hallway. I ran up to him, he scooped me up, swung me around, put me back down, bars. And then uh, we were just having, we were just chilling. So yeah, I just thought that'd be important as a memory because we shouldn't sure forget about Etika and his legacy. And the energy he just brought up on people when he was around folk. Uh, so yeah, rest in peace. Hey yo, we back. Static Shock is back. Third day on a Sunday. That's crazy, bro. That's actually crazy. So ever since I was a little child, two years old, bro, my daddy who beat me, bro, beat me with a whole bamboo stick, and he was like, "You're not good enough." I don't know why. I was a little two-year-old, but he said I wasn't good enough. Oh, okay. Yo, you know what my mama did? You know what she did? Oh, she shit. dropped me, bro. And I remember the one time she went, she threw a hot bowl in water, a freaking water, bro, <laughs> on me, bro. But yeah, bro, this is how I became the, the, the best villain in the world. This is my origin story, right? And every time I went to school, bro, they always put me in trash cans. So that's why I hate <laughs> trash cans, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so now I just hate the world, bro. And I'm going to get ultimate powers, yeah. Yeah, what, what power should I have? Nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, the power. On I'm gonna have the power of nuts, my guy. I'm gonna throw nuts at niggas, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna throw my sack at niggas, bro. I don't care what. Yo, bro. Yo, yo, niggas, yo, this at me. Yeah. Bro. Nah, look at me all you want, man. <laughs> yo, it's right. I can't, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. it's me. You're a fucking clown, bro. Yeah, I am a clown. And you know why I'm a clown? Cause y'all niggas want me to be a clown. <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> Yo, you say you try to charge. Yeah, you say you try to charge your phone. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to charge. <laughs> Shit, bro. <laughs> oh well, it was unplugged. Oh. Guess I gotta plug it back in. Guess who unplugged it? Jeremiah Isaiah, bro. I didn't unplug anything. Oh. Yeah, bro. You did. Bro. All right. All right. All right. Oh my god, you're gonna do the crash dance? You're gonna do the crash dance? He's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, he's gonna fuck it up. He's gonna fuck it up. Yeah, how you feel now? Oh, 
Interesting turn of events have occurred. My boy Gianni's here. G-Man rocks is at PAX despite not having a badge. Oh, and there he is. You know what's funny, bro? I had the same black bandana on, but I I, I snuck static shock in. Mm -hmm. I snuck static shock in, bro. Just because I wanted to. But yeah, welcome to PAX, sort of. It's yeah. fucking weird seeing you here. <laughs> but yeah, yo, today's been a blast. Um, we're about to go eat. Me, him, and Ivan, and I think Gianni. And uh, Vince. Vince. I got I to bounce. This like, man, I got to go home. This man has to leave. He got to fly yeah. back to Canada. You, you, know, you know that thing called fucking college? Oh. Yeah, I got to continue that tomorrow. So, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. But yeah, Vince. I'm glad you enjoy Paxis for the most part. Hell yeah. I hope it's been great, yo. And, yeah, man. Uh, I hope we made this experience a blast for you, man. It was great. Like, some parts of it were tiring and exhausting, but overall, that was fantastic. It was worth it, yo, for oh, real. Oh, yeah. But yeah, he's going to go, and we're going to eat, and I don't know what's going to happen after this, but I'm going to try to find uh, Canadian Guy A and this Coco Bandicoot cosplayer, because they were here, and like Assy was going to dance with her, but he was being too slow with the dance because he didn't know it too well. And then she had to go. He had the Canadian guy A have to go. So I'm, I'm DM'd him to ask if you know I could see him again so I could probably end this Sunday on a crash dance banger or some shit. Because I know how to do it. Properly. <laughs> Yo, nah, bro. Like, I was just like too tired, man. Like, you should have let me dance, brother. Uh, well, I mean, I thought we had like time for both. But I oh, like, yeah. didn't say anything about them having to go before. That's true. So. Yeah. Well... We'll see what happens. G-Man the God. <laughs> G-Man the God up in this joint without a pass. Straight outlawing. Wait, where you go? Right oh, oh, straight outlawing. But yeah, fucking Italian gangster in this bitch. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next whatever, whenever, possibly. Come to me. I'm glad I got to see you before uh, we left. We're about to go get some groceries. Groceries? Yeah, we're going to check some food. Well, I make some food, bro. You and you. I need to pick up both of you first and then just All right. Hi, Honey, we already got a photo. No, we getting more. We getting more. We getting more. Hold on. Oh, shit. I feel like I'm out of bounds. I'll be taking the photo. Oh wait, you got two. Are you videoing or what? Yeah. Ah, the video man. The video plan. What's up? <laughs> Maybe next year, because this year was actually fucking really good. We are beat. Hell yeah, bro. But, a lot of good events and a lot of fun stuff. But I don't know. The next one I'm looking forward to or interested in, probably MAGFest. If not, uh, maybe Otakon in DC. I don't know. I have no idea. But you'll know. Everyone will know. No, well, so my no. My life's trash. You gotta remember that too. What? My life's trash. Your life is so trash. it's a blessing <laughs> to even be here, to see you and him and him. Athena. I've always seen her. I've never spoken to her. Nice to meet you. My name's Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I recognize you. I've seen you all over the place. You're the one with that Animal Crossing icon. Right? <laughs> yeah. I've seen you all over the place. Well, I'm Jeremiah Isaiah. Crash Bandicoot Guru, Bloody War. God! Can I add you? I know. Sure. Okay. A little bit shorter. shorter. Alright, guys. This is the end. PAX East 2020 is a wrap. And I ended it with static. Well, the first quarter of it with my normal outfit uh, black bandana, gray pants, gray shirt, and you know, now I'm just rocking static. Ivan's here. Assets here, and it's me. So, yeah, I'm bumping Static Shock right now if you're wondering what that is. 
don't know what the fuck he's doing. But yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys in the next video whenever, if ever. And thanks for sticking around so far through this video. Maybe I'll come to PAX 2021 since we have a pretty good place to stay and a lot of good uh, places to eat in the convenience store right around the corner that's not even a minute away. So, yeah, it's a mystery, but we'll see what happens. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Keep it genuine and stay true always. Peace.